to do the uh, lag would be extremely highly beneficial. Well, let's get into that. You guys are gonna Good evening, everybody. Bad drivers are gonna, are probably it's Wednesday night, uh, Moscow. May the 3rd. Yeah. We're here on your Rivka, Yeho Rivka. And this is Squad Ops. My name is Buff, and I'm here with Tedish this evening. Do not suck that man's Hell yeah. Okay. And we're going to be watching these guys play Operation Open Road. <laughs> I got to deal with it. It's a defense main or a defense mission for the United States, which is the the team I'm going to be following. Tedish will be following the Russians, who will be attacking. I thought there's a modifier for. Everyone's just joining in. Um, it, this is our open event, so anyone is was free to join this operation. So obviously it's full tonight. They had to kind of do a first come first serve roll call kind of thing, and it took a little longer than expected. So we're about a half hour behind. That's yeah. Okay. I think I think a few people actually got uh, turned away. So stress the importance of uh, signing up early, get making sure you get a get a spot in the ops. Yes, very much so. And as you can see, there's a lot of players in this one on both teams. We have got a couple of good matchups going to happen, too. We've got Lish commanding for the United States Army. I'll go over his squad leaders and stuff, and then Tedish will tell you what the Russians are going to be attacking with. As for Lish's squad leaders, he has Satan, Shadowed Ritual, OD Tap, and Mighty. And almost all of them have got a full squad. Uh, Mighty's the only one he's got. One, he's missing one guy, I, I think. Discord. Maybe two of them. The so, audio, but I mean, I know. Lots of people going to be coming from a lot of so angles. Whatever. Once the action starts, it's going to be hard for us to keep up. But it's going to be good. Oh, what yeah. is going on for the Russia side, Tedish? So our Russia side, we got X-Bid in command. And then Best Pony, squad leading lead uh, number one. Captain Matt, number two. Dr. Kamikaze on squad lead three, and Nasty Nate on squad four. And yeah, likewise, very full. Uh, a lot of vehicles on this uh, op for Russia. And uh, sounds like they're about to do a command brief over here. Might be able to get in on that and listen. Figure out what their plans are going to be. I can see that the command has already briefed his squad leaders. They're breaking out into squads. And it's only a matter of time before they do their platoon brief. I landed a grand total of zero public new people, which what? is what I know, right? Except maybe That's Slinger. Not fair. I think Slinger. Might... But I like... No, we're starting here alive and going over there. Huh. These guys are talking about uh, oh, how it sounds like, like even though it's an up. open op, most of the people in here are uh, no. people were talking about veterans it. of some no. length or another. I'm seeing a decent amount of uh, ops tags, so regulars in here. I see definitely quite some a few names also. I recognize. Sixty frames a second. Oh my god. Definitely. Look at the wind. So this is our first op on the new hotly dropped patch. A um, lot of exciting features. Unfortunately, it doesn't sound like uh, it was dropped so quickly that uh, yeah, we weren't able to particularly adapt for this op. We'll see. Maybe maybe for Saturdays. Yeah, that's right. A lot of us were out of town and doing doing stuff this weekend, so the patch dropped. No one was here to kind of update the the operations and incorporate mortars and the new vehicles. But maybe this Saturday. I can only imagine some of the ops with IEDs in there and yeah, borders. Oh man. Oh, I can't wait for that. We've already seen some some funny stuff just. Just in the few days that this is open, and I've hardly even played. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see more of it played tonight than, than I've actually played myself. Yeah, I only managed to get one round in between uh, yesterday and today, late last night, and uh, yeah, lots of mortars. Those things, uh, they sound awesome. Love the way the explosions look. It's it does. Interesting mechanic. Just sitting there in anticipation, like you think you know where it's gonna land, and you're waiting and waiting. You wonder if it's already landed, and then gonna, boom, it explodes. Um, What's the delay on those, like 25, 30 seconds? I think, yeah, I think it's about 20 seconds. I'm not sure if it's give or take, depending on the angle and the shot, but really close to 20 seconds. Yeah, two BTRs and an MTLP. That was one of the first things I did. Listened. 
for the shot and the thunk. We'll be following the cameras around. Actually, let's go over the cameras because they are the real important ones. They are what a big portion of this is. And we're going to, and, and they're what makes this stream really cool. All the different point of views that we have from first person to up in admin camera, both sides, both teams, in vehicles, infantry. And we've got a few, about 10 or so, oh, more than 10 tonight. And yeah, we'll go over them quite the list so of course you've got uh muff and i uh casting from the skies and then uh crazy russian han solo xbit command on uh, the russian side big yes server error truth realm shadow ritual best pony and hyper evo so quite a few um hopefully we'll uh, get some good shots from you know down in the dirt all over the place and for the most part they should be pretty randomized and spread out uh, amongst the teams we never uh we never make them join a team uh, as a cameraman and, and force them to join just to spread out a little bit uh usually it works out we might have to incorporate that in the future it's uh it's too out of control but it's always random and it's yeah and we're not about you know making sure the teams are perfectly even you know it's all about the experience and sometimes you lose but you know it's always a good time so yeah it really is yeah, I'm getting chatter on the U.S. comms. I think they're about to move to the airfield, and since they are, and they haven't done their brief yet, let's. There's a, just a few specific rules that this operation has. The U.S. is going to defend the airfield the from the Russians with little little uh, restrictions. As far as mobility goes, there's no mobility restrictions, infantry or vehicles. Lodges for the U.S. can. Uh, they get two lodges, so they can run as much as they want. They don't have to have an escort. Uh, if they get killed, then they're then they're dead. But they cannot build anything after live. They can place their fob and let the ticker build up, but they haven't even gone to airfield yet, so that's not going to benefit them too much. I feel that's yeah, about it. build restrictions. That yeah, the ticker ticker count. Some people might feel like yeah, if you place your fob early, you'll get those extra points. And close enough uh maybe what 100 points not gonna make or break it no the, probably the base not, gets pretty big before the uh, russians get down there i've been on yeah, the uh, on both sides of that and uh yeah it's a good time yeah put those lodges running two of them at a time they're gonna they're gonna have plenty plenty of building um another thing is they have to keep the airway clear i'm actually i'm gonna swing over there right now oh the airfield the, the runway the, itself yeah right? the runway yeah the runway they can't build on that because it's kind of their job to protect it and and wait for extraction here. So they can't block the any of this the runway because they're expecting a plane to land here for whatever reason that you can imagine. Maybe an A ten. Yeah, you never exciting. know. <laughs> what have that we seen? Be. What kind of taxes have we seen in the past? Uh, maybe work or, or not work so well on this one. Well, I do remember a specific night where. One of one of the teams, or like round one, they put the the fob and the most of the defenses on the north end of the airfield, and round two they put it in the south, and and it didn't really spread out too much after that. The thing is that the Russians have got across a big open field from the east side, so it was it was just full of action. There was smokes and people just suicide running across the fields. We saw. Um, I, was, I believe MTLBs were in. No, it was a BTR. No, it was a BTR to the northeast of the airfield. Got got just rocketed from the back. Krusty the Sailor brought his squad around and did an excellent flank uh, on the Russians with the U.S. So they can push out and and intercept or flank if they need to. But for the most part, it's hard for the Russians to get too far in without being spotted. So once it, once the action happens, it's going to happen. All right, looks like the Russians are finally ready for their platoon brief. I can get some uh, audio on that. We might be able to boost that a little bit as all the ants line up. Yeah, Hyper's over there. Missing Hyper. It's all right, leave it. We'll move up right here. 
Rip, rip, Hyper. Please. Mori, your eyes are off. Hyper died He's again. Coming. Probably doing some administrative shit. Alright, I guess somebody's over there trying to get more vodka or MREs or something. Alright, <laughs> welcome to Op Operation Oprah Road, everybody. Uh, in this round, we're going to be the attacking team. And um, we're going to uh, be attacking the U.S. FOB location, which is located someplace in the... What is it? Uh, hotel... I don't know what it is now. It's somewhere in the airfield, so it could be anywhere in the north side or all the way to the south side. The general plan is, is that your squads are going to load up into various vehicles. Uh, they're going to take their routes, and the platoon is going to uh, disembark from the vehicles in the central Nova area, uh, which then your squads will clear out the town and then sit there waiting orders while the vehicles do some reconnaissance for us. We need to figure out what side of the airfield their FOB is on so that we can orientate the troops correctly so that we can get uh, an assault going. Uh, if it's on the south, we'll probably you know attack from the east side. If it's on the north, we'll probably attack direct from Novo. And if it's in the hangars, we'll attack from the west and so forth. So uh, when we're sitting in town, just be aware that the U.S. can't put troops there, that they've run troops all the way out to storage site before. So uh, once we cross that uh, kind of the sixth row, expecting expect contact. Um, other than that, it's just general assault. So, you know, listen to your squad leaders, fire team leads for when to use your smoke grenades uh, and your, and your uh, grenades. Uh, you know, your ARs do suppress a fire, mark your targets. Uh, don't burn, burn all the ammo uh, right away. You know, conserve it because once we get into the uh, closer to the action, that's when the real fight begins. Um, any questions? Can I make a comment about the last time I played this? Sure. The United States had dropped a fo um, the FOB up in airfield, but they had set up defenses in the South Hotel 12, Key 1, and it totally faked us out, and we all went to the South area, but the FOB was in the North. Negative, that didn't occur the last time this op was run. Well, the last time Regardless we played what, this hold on, op. Hold on, hold on. Regardless of what happens, I mean, it's the, the FOB is going to be placed all over the place, so there's going to be different things each yeah. time. But It'll I'm just I'm just saying yeah. I'm just saying let's like yeah. let's avoid rushing in until we know where the actual fob is. Well, that's the point. We're going to do reconnaissance with the BTRs. They're going to use their optics and check out to see where the defenses are, and then we can orientate to, based on that position. Uh, we might might send a squad to the northern part of the airfield while the other three squads attack the other uh, location. We, you know, we'll just make that call when we find out where they're at. All right, guys, that's all I got. Uh, good luck and uh, have fun tonight. Semper David Gumby. Thank you, sir. Thank you, expat. Yes, sir. Semper the Gumby. Be with you. All right, to the vehicles. All right, all right it sounds like, like yeah, the yeah, Russians are going to have a pretty pretty basic plan. They're going to push into Central Novo, clear the town, and then scout it out and go from there. Pretty reactive, pretty uh, fluid plan. Oh, cool. Yeah. So they're going to get real close in a hurry, it looks like, if they're going straight to Central Novo. I mean, they did uh, key up to, hey, watch out as soon as we cross the, I believe they said the 6-7 six, six, line, heading south. Hey, you might, might find contact, so it's not to yeah, they could, the not lose half the squad again. Storage site. Yeah. You're totally right. Is the MTLB full? It'll be interesting. Um, you can check. As, far as far as vehicles, what do they get? Here? Both BTRs and, uh, and the MTLB, and then... I have nine guys here. A trans? What are the vehicles for the Russians here? The nope, they get two the BTRs MTLB. and the one MTLB. I, I that's it? I think so, yeah. That's, that's what I've got jotted uh, down here. Sure. All right. Let's get two Humvees, two transports, and two Lodgies. Right, squad one wants so your they've already got the, the their position in the Humvees out. already. Like the Lodgies get are getting ready to ready run. To move out. The transports like are pretty much done move moving. Out and, uh, we'll get ready to go live. So I've noticed an interesting thing in admin cam that uh, is new to me is these little red and green horizontal yeah, lines over people's names. Down. I'm wondering, Muff, are you familiar with these? It looks I like am red. definitely seeing that. Red means they're in vehicles. I've seen green sporadically over this infantry. Vehicle, yep, this is weird. I'm gonna... But I'm not sure what they mean. That is totally new to me as well. I've noticed that. Undocumented features. Love it. Test, test. Next, test. Okay. Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, 
Test, test. Are we going Everyone except for like poor bird person perched off. on top of this MTLB appropriately. We'll figure that out. Wait, we're, we're in vehicles. That's not a place you want to be. There we go. Like yep, I don't know what it is. It, the menu, or the, uh, I guess, to take hasn't been updated us, yet. But I think we're just gonna be the the key. Um, we are the lead in the one minute points. I'm wondering if the green lines are if someone has taken damage. Yes, one For a but minute I, I thought it was squad leaders, because I noticed it on two squad leaders when they were just screwing around in base, but uh, it wasn't everybody. So. No, nope, it's definitely not. That. It's not a squad leader either. Because I was looking at Shadowed Ritual, who was right below me. He was a squad leader. And it's actually a saw gunner. Things, but don't take them. Short stack has the green bar. But I'm not sure. Not sure what it is. How are the uh, Americans doing over there? Looks like the Russians are all queued up, ready to go, mounted up, engines are on. Yeah, the Americans are at the they're totally at the airfield at the north end. Oh, not sure where sounds the like fob sounds like we're live yet. in ten seconds here. Yeah, the fob's yep. been placed. Yeah, they're counting it down over here. Yep, 132. Yeah, yeah. The fob's placed. They're ready to go. All right. Vehicles are tearing out, except for... There we go. <laughs> they're all moving. I don't know where the... All right, well, uh, I don't know where, where the lodges are. Lodge get them running. Get those lodges running. There they go. Lodges running. Both both U.S. Humvees are pushing out north slowly. No, no, no. scout. Yeah, the Russians are just booking it, uh, Central Novo. All oh, booking it, you know, relative. One Humvee is in Central Novo. That could be, uh, could be exciting. He stays there. Is that fully loaded Humvee, or is it just a, just a two-man squad? They actually did just stop, it, and it's four guys. Uh, Big, Big Jimmy and Krusty the Sailor got out. On the rally, I'm gonna just get them to get picked up by the uh, lodgy. Copy. We're the first ditch. See if the uh, BTR gets high centered here. <laughs> and actually, the other Humvee has stopped at the west side of Central Novo. This is Mighty Squad that's running these Humvees currently. Try to uh, yeah. make use of Heskel blocks because obviously they're a bit more resistant to stuff and only cost about 50. So far, infantry's gotten out of both of these. There's a gunner and a driver. In the building. So those are probably just the yeah, forward scouts, yeah. Yep. Stuff. Yeah, don't go crazy. Do they even have enough ammo to take down? Uh... Yeah. What's the uh, construction looking like back at uh, the airfield? I'm heading back. I heard Lish saying to use Hesco's instead of sandbags due to their better resistance to gunfire. Oh, yeah, that penetration. Yeah. Heavy guns. There's and I did like yet. the uh, the the tweak to penetration where uh, there's now a, a spray. Bullet goes through. Oh, it's the, not going to come yeah, through the at the same angle. The deflection. Yeah. yeah. And how larger calibers won't deflect as much. So. Yeah, so that BTR is going straight through pretty much, whereas a M4 will ricochet pretty well or the deflect the pretty hard off to the side. Most of the time. I'm not sure how random it is. Let's never discuss this again. Oh, Lodgy. Lodgy, that was a disaster. Just go to the bridge. We're good over here. I'm ditch. Yeah, ditch. How close are the BTRs to Central Novo? Oh, I can see them. They are, yeah, just north of Central Novo. Coming through that little crossroads. We got two BTR. No, excuse me. The MTLBs in front. Looks like there's a couple of them dismounting. That infantry is dismounting from everybody. It looks like. Alpha, Bravo. I want Alpha on my left. Bravo on my right. Okay. There are four infantry units running within a couple hundred meters, maybe 300 meters, of the whole Russian army. It's a fire team in Mighty Squad. Oh, yep. The Humvees are way behind. 
I'm sure they can hear the, the vehicles over here, right? You know, I'm not sure. Two, go ahead and, Big uh, Jimmy squad, they're definitely the closest. The, uh, golf nine, five. Yeah, that's that's them, all right. They are close. I'm looking over their shoulders at the whole Russian army off in the distance. You know I did, Jimmy. It looks like I think something gave it away, their position. If you notice, Central Novo is captured by the U.S. now. Or just push to the south. Oh, yeah. That could, that that could have scared the the Russians a little bit and let them know Repeat that again, you said, uh, G9, they were there. Five, yeah, it looks like we just got these four uh, four forward scouts. Crichton, Krusty, Affinator, and Jimmy. Copy. Four is going to cover the east side. And, one and then we got, three, the, four there. man, those uh, Russian ants just swarming in, sensing yeah. sugar. Oh, yeah, here they come. Where are their vehicles? Off to the east and, and still in the back a little bit? Yeah, they're still just hanging out in the back. If you, if you don't hear anything to they've the got one BTR middle, off to the east and then uh, one BTR on and the until B just to find the infantry. In the Okay, I'll give it a I'm gonna minutes. look and see if I can. Okay, Big Jimmy has got. Big Jimmy and Krusty are both lats, so they can take down a vehicle if they need to. Uh, they're hanging back pretty pretty far, it looks like. Look at that! Look at that gorgeous staggered column over there. I don't even know who it is. It's pretty. It's too far away to see names. Oh, it looks like Captain Matt's guys. Perhaps. I can see them moving. They're spreading out now. This in, this four man scout team is still in the, just hold up. They're they're not moving much. Look in every angle. I think the Humvees, I'm gonna turn around, see if I can see the Humvees. There is one Humvee, and there's the other. So the Humvees haven't moved. Mighty's the squad leader. He's sitting right down Here the road. Here we go. About Jimmy, two squads, squads. potentially yeah, running into a full squad and a half. He might have gotten spooked. He's running back. He is. I, I saw him. He's talking in local. I can't hear what he's saying, but I'm pretty sure he saw him. Oh. Okay, so the U.S. are aware of the Cap Russians. Matt just called out contact. Oh, here comes that vehicle rushing in right past Krusty. Oh, Krusty's got a, a wow. lat, so does Jimmy. Bold move. Oh, ran right in front of it. The Humvee just ran oh, right in Humvee, front of it. Oh, the Humvee, yep. All right, both Humvees are together. They're going to try and swarm this VTR. Oh, he just got hit in the ass. One rocket right up, up the tailpipe. Great shot, Jimmy. Hyper is... uh. Oh, I think Jimmy missed with the second one. Yeah, second one missed. Jimmy that is BTR known for is missing pepper. his lats. <laughs> in fact, I think he had a lat the last time. Yep, I was in his squad. I was right behind him. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to see if Napoleon and Musket get a sight on that BTR. Looks like they're going to. They haven't yet. Four, just keep on the contact up there as soon as much as you can. All right, the beat one BTR with Hyper Evo and Gaming Brennan in it is pushed off to the west side. Yeah, they're That's way off to the side. They they got an eye on uh, one of their Humvees. Now. We've just moved back into town. Copy. Yeah, oh, we got close action in here the with Smot, Crichton, and uh, Krusty. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, that's really close. Really close right here. Right, and just there's just a wall in a corner Ooh. separating them. Ooh. If he just came around, that's a triple kill right there. Of course, hindsight's always 2020, right? Walking right past him. Big Jimmy goes down. He gets taken out by enemy fire. BTR out of that window. They know he's there. Krusty is surrounded. They've got three guys outside the house. <laughs> Crichton and Poke Smot just opposite sides of the wall from each other. Well, the MTLB creeps up behind. They know he's in there. They're calling him out in local. He's in there, guys. He's in there. 
How do they not see him? Krusty's got the rocket too, so he can't throw a grenade out there or anything. He's... Yeah, he's lo he's reloading his rocket. Oh, he's getting up. He's firing it. He's looking. Oh, he gets oh, shot. Buckshot drops him. Buckshot drops him as he's hunting. So Faffinator's the only one here that's alive. Looks like Zacky90 goes down. Crichton is doing his best job at imitating a bush wookie here. Oh, nice. Crichton is there. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, wow. That's that's some discipline right there. Oh, never oh mind. he takes the mine down. <laughs> it's too tasty. And there. goes down. I feel like if he'd waited there, he could have uh, executed a whole squad. Fafinator's prone. He's, he's just laying in the house. He's, he's got the whole rest of the team coming out. It's just, just Fafinator at this point. He's the last yeah. one of this uh, recon squad. I believe the rest have fallen back. Both of the Humvees are still alive. My guys just called out a uh, Humby in the open somewhere. I believe both Humbies are still alive. They are. Fafinator and Gangrel. Oh! Faf gets Gangrel as he doesn't slice that pie all the way. Let's see if these guys heard him. Should have heard that. Poke throwing a grenade. Oh, it's gonna hit him in the nose. Oh, bad grenade! Bad grenade! Run! <laughs> Those windows. Small target. They are. It takes a few bad grenades before you actually get one through there. Both Humvees are hanging out in the south end of Central Novo. I need to find out where they're building their defenses in airfield. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna check on the progress of the U.S. building back here. See how that is. Yeah, my guys were just just asking uh, what uh, whether they've successfully scattered out where their fob is or what. Oh, grenade takes them down. I was just wondering where that 203 was. Oh, nice. This is good use of this building. All right, they've got a little bit going on there. Fortifying the buildings, bottlenecking them. I've seen they actually are out beside the runway. They've got a 50 cal facing south down the runway. Should they need it, can cover pretty much the whole runway. So sandbags coverage. Uh, I just saw someone with a green bar get shot and it turned yellow, and they got shot again and it turned orange. So that is a health bar. It looks like. I think you're right, and when it goes down, it, and when they go down, it goes fully red. So we just had the MTLB uh, being engaged by a, a Humvee. Took a bunch of shots and it's backing up. The MTLB did, that is. Humvee got a bunch of shots off for free. So. Oh, U.S. taking shots from the northeast. There's a BTR. Panda scope just got hit. He's falling back. Shadow so it looks like squad leaders right there. The uh, U.S. are falling back. Different positions. One BTR can uh, hold down. Here's the BTR has a good, good sight. He almost took out Shadow Ritual as he was crossing or entering the building. Ooh, Hyper's uh, BTR might. Oh, it's opening up on the Humvees. Both of them. It's caught him in the open. Oh, good hits. Good hits. There goes one Humvee. One Humvee's down. That the other Humvee's being engaged. Uh, At extreme range from the second BTR. It's on fire. Looks like they bailed. There's only about two guys left for squad four. Good job by uh, Hyper Evo and whoever's in there with him. Yeah, they uh, the gaming Brennan. Good job by them to take out that Humvee and basically disable the other. It's on fire, so they bailed out of it. Well, the second Humvee actually got hit from the second BTR, which is off to the uh, the east. They had a, a brilliant crossfire, which was whether or not that was intentional or not, uh, it worked out great though. Yeah, yeah, that did. Yeah, Logi's So they're in good. The Russians are in good position. 
Gotcha. There's pretty much no U.S. forces outside of this air airfield now. Yeah, it looks like everyone's uh bunched up. The Russians They're are the starting to move into the woods just outside. We saw hit the other a couple times. Let's see what the point of view of this BTR is. What yeah, he can see. The U.S. are fully encircled. Oh, and the second Humvee just exploded, it looks like. It did, and, and the BTR took out another one. I think Napoleon Man is the last one left. Squad 4. So the BTR is going to have great lines of sight all over this. All these windows, all the buildings. Yeah. Great spot for it. As long as he's out of range. Brilliant. Reloading. Oh, and it's poking them off too. Yeah. Just I mean, they're gonna they're gonna start firing from windows, and squads are gonna say, "Hey, front building, top window, left side, blast it." That's right. Yeah, this is a great position. Now the U.S. have lost their Humvees. They really probably don't have an answer for it, other than some extreme range lats. One of the yeah, BTRs like has taken a lat. That's, That's true. about it. And apparently the, the MTLB also got some heavy fire from a 50 right, cal. Yeah, it, it probably down. took 20 it rounds from down. a 50 cal. Oh, BT. That BTR in the northeast just keeps hitting. Yeah, he's seeing he's people moving around through those windows. That's Mori Eats Kids and Burns up there in the BTR. Hyper Evo and the gaming Brennan in the southwest. We do have a friendly BTR towards out there. Would it be nice to try and get a contact report from whoever, whoever's alive? I don't know what's going on over there. I heard one BTR, but that's it. Yeah, Could it be more infantry? My uh, like HMG can get shot. Very good positions for the Russians right now. They've got yeah, they BTRs west and east, and they've got an entire. Brigade moving in from the north. Yeah, if the U.S. had a force outside, uh, it might be dangerous. But it looks like the Russians have uh, either done some excellent commanding and and called it perfectly, or maybe they just got a little bit lucky, maybe a little bit of both. But yeah, these BTRs should be able to just clean house here once the infantry start engaging. Oh, Is MTLB ready yeah, to the U.S. did build extra fortifications to the north. The MTLB is on fire. Right, try to find the They're getting engaged to extreme range, single tapped from uh, from this south facing. Ah, oh, that's that's Ram cal. Randy Bobandi. All squads be advised to maintain 360 security. Also, they may have. All right, the MTLBs lighting them up for the Remember what north. my zoom command is here. Look at this line formation. If you get too heavy contact on the north, three push your fire team over. Russians just have an excellent line formation. MTLB started to engage. Probably look to see them advance a little bit. Dropping a few oh. smoke grenades. Here they go. This BTR blows up in the south. 50 cal takes it out. Oh, good job by the 50 cal in the south. The Russians are utilizing the drainage to push in. They've got smoke grenades dropping everywhere. The other BTR Ooh. is now to the southeast. Just took a rocket. Hit. Yeah. It's on fire. That rocket More actually smoke grenades just in. missed. But did enough damage. Backing off. Ooh, another near miss. Those are real. Well, the first one's really close. Second one, a little bit not as close. But, uh... One man, part-time ninja, is pushed out to the Hescos. He's squad leader one. Now that uh, they've lost theirs. Oh, he's able to take out someone. Heartbreaker. He just broke Heartbreaker's heart. We've lost crazy Russian. More smokes coming in. Look at this bombardment of smokes. Captain Matt's coming in. 
He's a squad leader for the Russians. Here comes Sensei Mike. Torch Mach. Han and Poke Smart are right behind him. Part time ninja's got a saw ready. Is he going to unleash? He's firing. He's down. Best pony comes in, sneaks Tuck through the down, sandbags, down. and drops him. Wow, yeah, Russians are Russians all up are on the breaching. wall right now. Nasty Nate gets taken out. He's a squad leader. Blank spaces goes down. Yeah, they're breaching your wall one. Breaching your wall one. Love yeah, the multicolored the smoke. The north, the north. <laughs> there appears blue, to be almost two squads. <laughs> yeah, there's even orange to the northwest. Yeah, a little bit of orange. Wow, this is a lot of uh, concentrated Russians right here. All up on the same wall. MTLB coming in. Best pony goes down to Han. If you want to form, if you want to form another line, try and get one Two squads on the north side. The US is down to four soldiers. Three zero Mike Mike is bandaging. Han's crawling towards him to heal him up. Down in that They're all four prone. soldiers in that first building, right? The front building? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like they got spread out a little bit behind them. Oh man, thanks The Russians have stopped their push. They've got the smokes in there. Yeah, it sounds like they just lost a squad leader. That's uh they, and right as you were saying, huh? They looks like they paused. There was a question over command comms. What's the holdup guys? Captain Matt's pushing in, he's leading the way. He's one left squad leader. Oof, MTLB goes down for a great shot. Entering the building. The Russians are just swarming BTR or something is providing support of fire. Yep, there's a BTR out there still. Burns and Mari. Han and server error 404. Only two left in that northern building. Time. There's three squads, maybe four worth of Russians pushing in from the north still. BTR got scared off by a well placed 50 over here. Fuck, got hit with a eight. There are more explosives coming in towards the US. They're getting swarmed pretty hard right now by the Russians. I'm all alone. River arrows it, it. He is all by himself. He's pulled the rocket. Oh! Just oh, he's just short. barely missed the just BTR. short. Still damaged it. BTR is on fire a little bit. He got taken out, but it was a good effort. Chase the BTR up. Ooh, little Jin just got shot from the northwest. He's been laying down yeah, suppressive saw fire for a while. Try and find a way back to us. I don't know how it'll go though. I just got hit. Still got a, a, hand still a handful of soldiers out in these uh, side buildings. Boy, they are just the Russians have just taken. They took over that one just building. Just grabbed hold. Yeah. Two or three left. Yeah. If they have grabbed two or three buildings them. left. One, two, three. Big yes, dude. It's only about seven, seven or eight. Uh, there's maybe ten or eleven U.S. soldiers left. Uh, we were one more up. So two. And they're shooting. They see the Russians coming in. I just saw Captain Matt's bleeding. He took a couple shots and moving in. Down goes legit gamer. BTR is moving in up close on the side. Well within lap distance if there's any out. left. Nate's being trolled. OD tap goes down. Looks like Captain Matt got him. Relapse. Captain Matt looking towards each other. BTR is pushing in. Yeah, they're calling. Don't don't go in there. There's still lats, buddy. Mari eat kids. Might be taking one right now. This fun guy, does he have a lat? I don't think so. There doesn't look like it. He would have taken that shot low. for sure. The US is running low and the lats are usually they're out there in the front trying to deter the BTRs, so they 
tend to go down earlier than anyone wants them to. We got Bringzer over here making a flank. Oh, he could get lucky and flank a quite a few people here. He moves in nice. Yeah, that's that. Relapse dropping somebody. Folks, Ross is going to turn and peek in. Relapse Russians gets another got, one. just uh, got audio on the, on the radio. Folks, Mott's just outside. They're uh, just across the wall from Relapse. He dug up some razor wire, I believe. BTR is going to sneak in, though. Oh, BTR goes down. Not Boom, sure who shot BTR. that. I think it was Cool Breeze. Yeah, I don't know. What are we down to here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. US? We can look at the... Oh, wow. 29 incapacitations for both teams. I think it's 9 on 9 right now, yeah. Yeah, so it's it just all of a sudden got close. The U.S. held it down and stopped, just lit them up as they came in. That's what happens. And now the Russians have got, got their work cut out for them. They had everything at their fingertips. Who is this over here? The U.S. held it down. Joe. Joe just got a triple or a quadruple kill over here. Found a bunch of Russians stacked up. Took them out. We're still at 31 to 31 on the kills. Fun guy and Silver Man are talking through the walls at each other. Joe is still to the south, lighting up the sides. Randy Bobandy and Ram down here with him. Relapse is a nice little bunker in here. Feel like you can hear him outside. Smell them. Smell those Russians. <laughs> they just looked at each other through the wall pretty much. That was a great rush by the Russians, though, from the north. That was a just excellent execution was awesome they were in they took that northern building still got three guys up there kahuna sergeant nato and i don't rusty rusty something um, i hear a lot of enemy contact around my building rusty yeah. snipes hey, randy or randy, go buzzing back randy or randy. I, can hear you. I hear lots of local chatter you know i don't think there's a lot of leadership left yeah, I was just wondering, like, is there an overarching strategy here, or is everyone kind of in, uh, not Call of Duty mode, but, you yeah, know. It's kind of going into survival mode for a lot yeah. of them right now. we got three, we got a little base of fire here in the first building that they pushed, and then uh, one guy on the left, three guys on the right, for the Russians. A little standstill, they're talking about throwing frags. They're asking if they can communicate with each other. I'm gonna pop a GL in that room if you want I'm me all to. Out of smoke. I think I hear. I think I just hear people saying, "This is awesome." <laughs> I think that's all that's going on right now. They can't. There's. They're yelling at each other through the walls, having a good time. Bombardian and Ram are about to peek corners on each other. Oh, yep. Oh, who was that? Meg's, Meg's Netic takes out. Where did Eddie he get Bobandy. dropped from? Bombardian comes and kills Ram. Oh, he was, wow, he was just hiding back there. Wow. Yeah, good good job. Good job by the Russians. It was their turn to get patient right there. Instead of the death rush that they came in with. It was so effective. That was a beautiful rush. Relapse, Silverman, fun guy. You're and short stack. That's all I see for the U.S. remaining. 
32 to 34, so there's going to be a couple more Russians left. Relapse is about to engage. Oh, oh, they said had to have seen each other, right? Yep, I heard dropped. shot, yeah. Dropped. Oh, who was that? Oh, lobotomy. Lobotomy. Lobotomy got lobotomized. They heard him shoot, though. There's a, there's four guys stacked on the outside of this wall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they know they're there. Someone's shooting smoke grenades. I think Sergeant Nato from the northern building. And they're throwing more. Oh, yeah. They're throwing oh, more. So, yeah, they're covering so they can uh, swarm into this building and take out relapse. Short stack is all by himself in the eastern building. Not sure what his plan is. He's actually moving out. He he wants to come regroup with his friends. He's he knows they're out there. Yo, boys, all, all this stuff, all this stuff. I can do it. Relapse is still just holding the line, looking through that little hole in the sandbags. He's got the pillbox sandbag. It's like yeah, Rusty is Snipes a, is gonna peek first. Scary situation to be. He's looking now. He's looking the wrong way. Right when the guy's gonna peek. Wow, goes down. Oh, good shot by Rusty Snipes. Silverman and Fun Guy are in the same squad, I think. They're talking to each other a bunch. Short stack all by himself. So we got two. two Looks like little, Snipes. Uh, is... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> just two little enclaves of uh, U.S. left. Three left total. Short stack Three making US a move, total. and then Silverman and Fun Guy hold up. They got a little bit more cover than uh, the last one did. Silverman taking every bit of it too. Interesting position underneath the sandbag. Kind of limits your movement. Yeah, he probably can't shoot a lot, but he can. He can take their legs out. He'll at least get them running and get them scared. Fun guy and Silverman are realizing that their fob is going down. Pokesmot is taking the lead here in local chat, telling people what we're doing, where we're going, who's covering what. Fun guy hears them. He hears their footsteps. He's calling them out. He's, he's about to. Pokesmot's jumping to look over. He's pulled right, a pin. Don't stand he pulled up. a pin. Do you stand he just pulled, up? He just pulled a pin. Okay. All right. Looks like Kahuna's. They're throwing Ooh, a good grenade. grenade. Silverman's running. <laughs> oh. I think it he's wounded good. Fun Guy. I'm hit. I'm hit. I got you. Yep. He's he's bandaging himself. Silverman and Pokesmot taking shots at each other. Short stack. Lights up there. Silverman got hit. From that building. Behind us. Rusty Snipes is shooting back at short stack. He's he's ran away. Yeah, yeah, they're taking fire from their rear. Uh, all right, fun guy stood up. He's throwing a nade out. All right, all right. Oh, oh, right it. by Rusty Snipes. Later, buddy. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that was good. Oh, fun guy goes down though. Someone got him. Huh? I wonder. Oh, are we ready to push? He might have oh, been looking and it killed him. It might know. his own grenade underneath. Yep. Oh, it did. I, it, did. it did. I saw the suicide by him. Oh, man. He killed himself. We're down to the Silver Man and Short Stack, who is now in the far northeast corner of the Silver Oh, he's doing, a good, he's doing a good job over there. He's, he's a ghost. He engaged, killed one. Totally new angle. Now they have no clue where he is. That's if right. If they had good any job. clue before. Short stack could make uh, quick work on this on this flank if he gets in there. Silverman's trying to yell at short stack, but he can't see him. I can't hear him; it's too far away. Silverman barely stood up and poked Smot, took shots at him over the sandbags. What have we got left over there? So it's one on two. No, one on three. A, just one on three. He's, he's cornered. He's, he's got surprise. Uh, element of surprise, rather. Because they he all think he's medic. in there. He's moving around. 
Oh, is there still one in that building? I can't tell. Two fireflies. Oh, there is still one. In the oh, there, there he there goes. He's one. down. Grenade launcher coming in from Sergeant Nato takes out the silver man. So we are down to short stack and only short stack. Last man standing for the but U.S. He is in a potentially amazing position over here. Where'd he go? There you are. <laughs> Clearing this building really slowly. If only he was... There you go. There you go. Hold that angle, buddy. Oh. It is now three on one. That is what it is. It's three against one. Short stack. He's against... Who's that? Poke smart. Who else? Cannot tell. Sergeant Nato building, building over there. Megs, Megsnetic. Okay, Sergeant oh, Nato, okay, Megsnetic, so Poke Smot. Okay, well, that's yeah. steady. Short stack. Over until we all die. Nobody's moving. Yeah. Well, until Wait, so... everyone on one team dies. Short stacks moving out of the building. Or at least to the bottom floor. Where did the Russians take off to? Or the Americans? They're in the oh, FOB They're just holed up in there? Oh, yeah. right, because they're on the FOB. Okay. Yeah, they've taken the FOB, and they protect it now. The U.S. needs to reclaim it. Short stat. He's clearing everything. See him up there checking it all out. That's going to be a tough one, unless he can lob a lucky nade through the top windows. Let's see if anyone's gotten lucky this game. Short stack, he's taken out four so far, as a matter of fact. OD tap looks like he got four as well. Cool Breeze was able to drop six. That was for the U.S. Ooh, Maury eats kids. He was in a BTR, dropped nine U.S. soldiers. Wow. That's putting in work. He's, he's the... The big killer for the Russians. Of course, Magnetic is in there. He's got four. So good work here. I'm not sure why the Russians just fired and gave away their position there. I think they're enticing short stack, and he's slowly coming. I'm following him now. That's funny. <laughs> They've taken almost the exact same positions that the Americans had when they were in this building. Yeah, isn't that funny how it works? It's just well, they can. Like, the general they thoughts of it. Do. Yeah, they're probably just sitting. Is that Russian on right the east side? Is he outside or inside of the, the, this building? Everybody's the inside. Okay, just waiting. The only difference is we're not going to move. They're going to have to move. Short stack started over in the eastern building. He has pushed all the way north to west to south. And now he's coming around from the southwest side. Going to go full circle on him here. Uh, Mag, if you want to keep eyes on the southern side of that set, like that southern sand bag, that corner. Uh, they ever yeah, saw the screen. They're microing their uh, awesome. their cover here. Very minimal Got one, it. but one. Got Magnetism. It. You cover the left side of that one sandbag, and I'll cover the right side of the sandbag. That's going to be tough to get in here. Even a grenade from heaven would only kill two of them. You know. I bet you you could throw a grenade right through the top of those hangers. There's, there's those yeah, warehouse doors or whatever that, there. That's the only way. Unless he gets uh, extremely lucky.
Russians are getting antsy. Not sure what poke was firing at. I'm pretty sure it's just enticement to get him to, so yeah. to get the remaining U.S. soldiers to return and right? assault. Otherwise, it, we'd be capping it, correct? Uh, we can't cap it correct. since we don't have any other points. Short stack's doing a little more running. He might be. I forgot about that. He might be getting frustrated that he can't find anything. He hears the shots though. Yeah. We'll have to find out. Or there could be ten. Or they could be zero and the admins are just. <laughs> the Russians are speculating how many. How many think you're up against? Be the worst. Oh, you think there's? There has to be at least three, right? Or else we'd be capping the yeah, point. Almost always. Maybe there's ten. Maybe Except there's zero. The They're all theories that have been proposed. That's funny. They can't capture they it because the U.S. already kept. They, they yeah, just can't. But that's funny. It's not that map. There we go. Hyper's getting uh, bored. <laughs> Impatient. <we> oh, <laughs> snikes. It's not going to be much of an infiltration. <laughs> Short stack is shaking his gun up and down. I get it. I get it. The U.S. to come here and kill us. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, dude, I just saw him. Oh, the did. Russians just saw him. They said they just saw him run across. I'll continue to watch the north side. I'm watching. Like, it was whoever's uh, by the door on the east, I think. Yeah, it's Pokesmart. Oh, yep, yeah, here he comes. We just need to make sure they peek us. We don't peek them. Yep. Keep your corner. The short stack is. He's gone all the way back to the first building he started in. Oh, short stack may have been seen here. Here comes. Oh, short stack got hit. Did he get hit? Down. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, oh, they just called out that they killed him. They still win. Yeah, I just tapped him in the. Magnetism floor. getting. Uh, if he's not dead, dude, I don't know what. Ahead of himself. Short if he's not dead, has... dude, I don't know what. Direct quote. Nope, he's not. He lived. And here comes a grenade. Smoke grenade. Yep, smoking him. Smoke, smoke from the south. Yeah, end. that's two smokes within. That's definitely two of them. <laughs> yep. He just called out. Toast. Yeah, he just called out. Uh, oh, there's two smokes, and they're they were thrown too close together. There have to be at least two of them. This actually helped us a little bit. Yeah, they just give you the position. short stacks. Decide it's time for a different approach. That smoke worked perfectly. In room, and they're not going to be able to see anything besides smoke. Yeah. If they would have thrown it into the room, that would have been better. Yep. Well, then they would be blindly spraying into the room. But... Yeah, but that would have been better than walking out of a smoke and then into our gunfire. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. There's definitely two, though. You're right. Here we go. He's got nothing left to lose. Close combat coming up. Magnetism's gonna get the first shot, uh, probably. One full one, two one shot, or two. Here we go, here we go. And I got a bunch of mags. Oh! Oh, short him. stack gets him! Drops him! He's got another one. Oh. Down he wound him? No, he's alive, he's alive. He's he didn't alive. Get he didn't oh, get I don't hit. think he got hit. He got one. Just you and me, Pope. Yeah. That was like a watermelon exploding in my camera. That was great. Oh, he ran off. And now he's run off. Saw one run off. He ran back south. He's heading the other way. Heading back around. He doesn't know how many are left either. It's one last now. Hey, he's doing great. Yeah. Engage, kill one. Ghost, different angle. Not that there's too many angles you can hit this thing from, but... I feel like there's just one dude left. No, there's not. Yeah, probably is. They finally the keyed Russians on. They're making him come in. They are making him push in now. They've agreed that there's probably just one left. All right. I think they heard him, you know, take off running around the building.
I hear footsteps. Oh, they heard footsteps. Uh, just to my north. Yep, I, th I think it was Pokes mod I saw. Just turn and look straight for him. Now he's gone prone. Whew. He's coming soon. Tell me if he jumped. Go up and listen back. Did he see him jump? I don't think so. Definitely not. Nope. Here comes the peak. Oh. Here it comes. Oh, it's so close. Oh, he just peeked over. Didn't call it. How did you not see that? Okay, there we go. Oh, he's just pre-firing. Pre-firing the yep. other sandbag. <laughs> Shoot through the wall with his uh, classic. He can't. It's not penetrating for him. Really? It looked like it was maybe a little bit. I mean, hard to tell. But Oh, uh, maybe it was. Running back off to the west. Reloading and disengaging. I'm go Did you just oh, him? and he's moving out. Russian's getting tired of this. Oh, pokes oh here we go. Here picks. we go. This is it right here. Okay. Bam. Down he goes. Yep. That's a good yeah. game. Right, back good, back. good job by Shortstack pushing it in there in the end, though. Good job. And you know, a good job by Expert commanding that. That was excellent execution by the Russians at the beginning of that round to push in. From having the BTRs on the east and west and coming in from the north like that with all the smoke grenades, that was a really good job by, by Expert leading those guys in. And a really good job by the U.S. to keep it together once they got just swarmed from the north. Yeah, it's, it's tough to hold on when they've got those big guns. At range, uh, they did a really good job kind of baiting those guys in, bringing them in, and then taking them out with some excellent lats. Yeah, very good job by them. Now we got a few minute break, and then uh, round two. Yep. See what happens. We're going to switch teams, start over again. Be another big old 39 on 39 matchup because you and I will be spectating. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Good first round. Close first round. We'll see if Russia can sneak on in and do it again in round two. Uh, we'll be right back with Operation Open Road. Part two.